Designing a tiny house so that it can work for a family can be a really fun challenge. And when you get it right, you'll be amazed at just how functional a small house can really be. And that's exactly the case with this next beautiful home that we're about to tour. Hey Kylie, how are you? Hi Bryce, good to see you. Great to see you. G'day Lloyd, Bryce, how's it going yeah, mate? Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you and I am very excited to see your beautiful home here. Thank awesome, you. thank you. So first of all, can you tell me what it was that inspired you to build and move into a tiny house? Yeah, basically it was just, I don't know, the house prices and I guess just wanting a little bit more, more freedom. I think the other part to this too is that, you know, um, we've been renting for so long and rent prices were getting really high. So um, we needed to find a way to do something different. We knew that buying a house was sort of not something that we wanted to do here in Auckland. And so we started about five years ago, creating some plans around tiny house. We watched a lot of videos, uh, went to a couple of tiny house expos, uh, which were really eye-opening actually. And so it gave us the ability to kind of really look at downsizing the things that we had, realizing that we don't actually need as much stuff as we had accumulated. And so, yeah, we're really proud of this journey and we've created something that really works for us. And when you first saw a tiny house, what was it that really made you think, yes, this is for us? I think what we first liked about looking into the videos that we've been watching was the fact that we were able to design it to what we wanted. We've spent five years going over plans and going over plans mm. to find something that was going to suit us, suit our children. We've got two daughters now. Um, when we first started creating the plans, we only had one child. And so, you know, those plans shaped and moulded over time. And so we were able to create something that was going to be family friendly, safe, and gave us um, spaces that we knew that we would be able to enjoy and that were ours. And can you tell me about the design of the home? Uh, yep, so we obviously wanted our colours, so I liked the blue exterior, um, I wanted blue and white, that's sort of my colours that I enjoy. And then we've obviously got the trifold windows, trifold door, we wanted to create space and awareness with um, the door and where we were looking out to, so we weren't willing to settle on anything smaller than a trifold door, so hence that's why we went with that. It really is lovely having a home that just wonderfully opens up into the outdoors like this. And of course, with the parking space that you've found, yes. what a view you've got here. Yeah, we were very lucky to find this place. So yeah, we found this um, space on landshare.co.nz. Um, we found a lovely woman who owns this property and her house is actually up on the top hill. And so we've just created this tiny house in under a little hill looking over the Mercer Valley. So we're really lucky, really, really happy to be out in sort of farmland, but without having cows and having to do the farm life thing. <laughs> You've got the views and none of the work. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And what size is the tiny house? So this one is eight metres long um, with the one metre bump out over the drawbar to give us more room uh, and three metres wide. That extra half a metre down the whole length of the house mm. just really increases the, yeah. the volume. Oh, it can yeah. make all the difference in the world, yeah. can't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I see you're collecting rainwater here on the house. Yes, yeah, we want it to be um, as self-sufficient as we can. So yeah, we've started with the, the water tank and we're collecting our own, own rainwater. We are hooked up to the main house for power at the moment. We had that installed, but yeah, eventually one day we'd like to go, go solar and completely off-grid mm. as, as time and funds allow. Yeah. Great, good plan. Yeah. Well, I absolutely love the look of the house from the outside and I am very excited to explore the inside. Can we take a look? Of course. Yes, yeah, Bryce, come on in. All right, after you. Oh, this is just lovely. And I really do love the way that this whole house just opens up to the outdoors. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, um, we were very blessed with the space that we've parked our house. And obviously with the trifold doors, you know, we've got that gorgeous view out there. It's a great place to relax at the end of a working day. We've got a long drive home. Um, we've got kids that are very active. And so the space is awesome. And you have this lovely, very comfortable looking couch here to just sit back, relax and soak in the views. We do, we do. Um, so we actually had to fit the couch to the space because um, obviously it's a little bit of a smaller lounge. 
but we did that on purpose because we wanted a decent sized kitchen and a decent sized bathroom. Um, the couch actually opens up, as most of them do, into a bed and we've got storage in under the ottoman. Very nice. Lots of storage in this space as well, I see. We do, yep. We are obviously avid book readers. Um, so we've got our kids' books and toys for our baby to play with and then all of our books that we read, puzzles, everything that a family needs. And then we've also got uh, lots of DVDs and PlayStation games. And I see you've got the television up there as well. Yeah, so we're obviously into a little bit of gaming. So we've got the VR headset and our PlayStation and, and it actually pulls down off the wall. So it's quite good. So it's something that our older daughter, who's nine, loves to play on with her dad. And by the looks of things, you have some pretty huge family game nights. Uh, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. We've got lots of, lots of game time with the kids. Awesome. And I like how the lounge is sort of seamlessly connected to the kitchen, and it really just does create a lovely, open family space. You're right, it does. Um, it's actually really great because um, the kids can basically use this whole space to play as well as outside. Great. And tell me about your kitchen design. Uh, yeah, so we've got a full-size um, L-shaped kitchen with appliances that are, that are basically full-size as well. So we've got our oven, which is electric and gas, uh, and a half-size dishwasher, which was a really important feature that we needed, uh, and our fascinating blue sink, which we love. I was going to say, I have never seen a blue <laughs> kitchen sink before. Yeah, so that was a lovely little treasure that Lloyd actually found on Trade Me and it's a quartz sink. I wanted kind of a farmhouse sink, but we found the blue one and I don't know, it just kind of fitted in really, so. It definitely becomes a feature in the kitchen. Yeah, it just pops. Um, blue sink, black bench and white cupboards, so it works. And again, it looks like you have found a lot of storage space in this kitchen as well. Yeah, we definitely needed that with all the baking things and um, we've got new pots in there and yeah, we definitely needed space. Yeah, so we've got the cupboard here, which has drawers in it. We didn't want um, wire baskets because we'd heard, you know, obviously with being wire, things would drop out. So we went with the solid cupboard. Everything is soft closed, which is amazing. The kids have a lot of fun with that too. I bet. Very nice. And look at this little one. You've even got this tiny little cupboard right next to the oven there. Yeah, so that's look at that. just for a few trays and, um, you know, tin foil and rubbish bags and things. Not an inch wasted. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, so we also wanted um, some storage for all of our baking goods. So we bought a whole lot of jars that kind of are in unison and um, we had a beautiful little shelf built, which is where they're all sitting. And that takes away the storage from the cupboard as well. So we know we've got food in the cupboard and baking goods up on the shelf. I always really like the open jar storage as well because it just adds a bit of interest and pops of colour to the kitchen too. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of a cottagey feel, which is what we were kind of going for. Yeah, definitely. And you've got the fold-out table here for family meals? We do. So it's great because it's versatile. Um, the two ends fold up so we can have at least six people sitting around it if we invite people over. It's great for the kids in the morning for breakfast. We can just pull one side up and then fold it down and we can move it outside once we've got a deck built. So it'll be great. Brilliant. And I'm guessing through there we have your bathroom. We do. Cool, can we take a look? Of course. Alrighty. Oh my goodness, this is huge. <laughs> yeah, so we sacrificed a little bit of our lounge space because obviously we've got kids, uh, we needed a decent sized bathroom and yeah, so we've obviously got a full-size bath in this bathroom, which is really important with children. Um, we all love our baths, and it wasn't one of those things that we were willing to sacrifice. So we created um, our bathroom plans to fit the bathtub. And the subway tiles with the white and black was something that I really liked and really wanted and more than happy with the way it's turned out. Yeah, so it's perfect. We've got our lovely um, floating vanity and our exciting bowl behind us as well, which is also blue. <laughs> and it really is very efficient how you fit this in too. Yeah, we did a little bit of research and discovered that the combination washer dryers take a long time to dry everything and we thought, well with kids and stuff, that's not really going to work for us. So we decided that we wanted to have a full-size washing machine and full-size dryer. So yeah, we wriggled and juggled things around on the plans a few times and yeah, we've managed to get them to fit. Very sensible choice. And lots of storage in here too? Kylie wanted lots of storage in the bathroom. We weren't sort of sure how it was going to work. We tossed around the idea of having a curtain or having mm. doors. 
and we decided doors would just be a nuisance and get in the way. So we just went for neatly stacking things and baskets, can't beat baskets. Great, works very well. And it's nice to see that you've got direct access to the bathroom from the outdoors as well. Yeah, so hopefully at some point we'll have a deck which will wrap around and this will become our back door. And then it can also double for another tiny house if we decide to expand. What a great idea. And upstairs, I'm guessing we must have your sleeping lofts. We do. Cool, can we take a look? Certainly. All right, after you. Thanks. Now this is just such a clever design because you have your own sleeping loft down that end, but then over here you have two completely private loft rooms for both of your girls, both with shutting doors. That is amazing. Yeah, so um, we knew that we needed privacy for our nearly nine-year-old. Um, and obviously with the baby, she was still quite young a few months ago when we moved in. So we needed a space where we could close the door in case she was crying in the night. So, yeah. So we tried to design the house to be as future-proof as we could. Um, so the dividing wall between the girls' bedrooms is actually removable. So later on, we plan to get Michaela her own tiny house that has a lounge and a bedroom mm. sort of adjoined onto ours. And then we can take out the middle wall and Petra's got a full-size bedroom upstairs here pretty much. What a great idea. And it looks like there's some really interesting design happening in that room as well. Yeah, so we decided that the room needed to be universal and we didn't want too many opening and shutting gadgets in our tiny house, but we did make a Murphy bed for Michaela's room that folds up and has a desk that folds out on the back of it. Uh, yeah, and so obviously we've also got a wardrobe space for Michaela and for her shoes and clothes and some extra toys that are kind of piled in the back. Um, the door is not only her bedroom door, but also doubles as a doorway for her wardrobe. That really is just so clever. And I love the way that you really have thought about future-proofing this house, but also how you've really prioritized creating individual space for each family member, because it is just so important that in a tiny house, you can have privacy. Yeah, you're right. We definitely needed privacy for our girls and having the two loft bedrooms instead of one that they share was an important part of this build in this house. It's really impressive that you can both stand up on the walkway as well. Yep, so obviously again with a little baby who is going to be a toddler, um, having a walled walkway was really important for safety. We don't currently have a safety gate over the stairs, but that is something that uh, we are going to have to do as well. And the roof is, yeah, we've got height, which is great. Absolutely. And can we take a look at your room? Of course. Yeah, certainly. Cool. Now, I can't quite stand up in here, but you both can, which is really cool. Yeah, so obviously we wanted a space that we can walk around and just be comfortable in in our bedroom. We didn't want to be crawling into a loft. And so that's why we had the floor sort of slightly lowered in the kitchen, uh, which gave us the height in here. We've got the one meter bump out, which means that we've got the ability to walk around our room, um, get dressed, you know, and just have space, which is nice. It just makes life so much easier, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, and then partway through construction, they came to us and said they could use a, a different system for the ceiling. So they used a SIPS system, and that's given us an extra 50 mil clearance in the bedroom. And 50 mil can make all of the difference, can't it? Yeah. 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 And again, from up here, you have <laughs> such a gorgeous view. Yeah, we absolutely love it. I call it our window picture in the bedroom because it, it just changes all the time with the light and the sunsets out at a absolutely awesome. Mm. Gorgeous. So how long have you been living in the home now? Uh, so we've been here for four months now, and obviously we've still got a few things to do, like build the deck and create a shed space, but um, so far so good. And how are you adjusting to family life now in the tiny house? I think it's it's gone really well. Um, we got comfortable really fast, which, um, you know, I don't think we were quite expecting that. Um, the girls are just thriving in here. They love it. It's like a little tree house. Um, they've obviously got the little pockets of places they can play. And we've got the outdoors and that's been absolutely amazing. It's getting them off the iPads and away from TV and out and playing in nature a bit more. So it's great. Yeah. And can we talk about the cost that was involved in constructing this home? Yeah, so the house itself actually costs us 152000 And then with the water tank and pump and filtration system, we're probably sitting at about $160,000 for a really nice home to live in. Mm. And when you think that that is still less than the deposit which is required mm. to purchase a conventional home in this city, this is a beautiful family home 
for a really affordable price. Yeah, and I think that was another space that we needed to move into. We knew that the house prices in Auckland were getting ridiculous, and every time we thought that we had a deposit for a home, the goalpost had shifted. And so obviously, um, you know, this is like an apartment to us. It's our home, it's new, we're just thriving in our own space, which we love, we absolutely love. One of the things that made me fall in love with the idea of a tiny house was the, the cost of it. We'd been renting in Papatoe for five, six years, and basically we had paid somebody else the cost of a tiny house, and we still had nothing. Yeah, so the idea of putting that kind of money into something that was actually going to be ours, it didn't make sense not mm. to do it. I think it's given us some time to think about what we want for our children's future. So going beyond what we want as parents, um, as a married couple, we want to create something great for our kids. And we knew that we couldn't do that renting because it didn't give us, I guess, the financial freedom that we were looking for. And even if we were to move into a normal home, if we'd managed to meet that goalpost and get a deposit together, we would have been in debt for the rest of our lives. And that wouldn't have set our children up for a better future than what we have had. So the whole idea behind this is that moving forward, it will give us freedom to be able to pay for things like university fees for our daughters, go and travel and see more of the world, and just give us some, some new adventures and a new future, which is not what we were going to have had we continued to rent. And what would you say the future holds for you both now? So I think in the sort of medium term, like Lloyd said before, we want to create another tiny home for our daughter. She's nine. Uh, when she gets to her teenage years, that room is not going to be conducive to, you know, having her friends over and stay. So we are going to build another tiny house to add to this one. And I guess the longer term would be to save up as much as we can, buy a section of land and then build on this concept. So it's a way of us having an extension of our tiny home, uh, but in incremental steps. That is such a good idea, and I cannot wait to see when you've done that. Yeah. This really is such a wonderful home that you've created for your family. I really love all of the clever design in this home especially, and the way that you've truly thought everything out so that it works for you as a family. Thank you so much for sharing you, it with me. Thank you, it was wonderful to have you, Bryce. Wonderful to be here. I really am so impressed with the design of this house. Kylie and Lloyd have done a phenomenal job in building a home that just works so well for their family. And more than that, I love the way that they also have a really solid plan for the future so that this home can potentially expand and grow together with their family. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for them. <laughs>